During the first part of our Expert Moms episode, Issa Reyes of Neat Obsessions shared many helpful insights and tips to help us get started on home organizing. This time, she'll be touring me around her home to see her organizing system in action. Come join us and let's learn together. We made it here to Isa's beautiful home. Thank you for allowing us to shoot in your home. Yeah. We cannot wait to find out how you actually execute all the systems you mentioned earlier while you're shopping into your very own home. So I can't wait. Please take us through. So where do we begin? Here, in the kitchen. Okay, so let's start in the kitchen. Parang it's, it doesn't feel like it's been used because it's talagang squeaky clean and everything and it is in its proper order. So share with us some tips that you put in order in your kitchen. Right, so I mentioned earlier of us coming up with a system at home. Yes. So basically, you have to set a standard. Okay. So this is my standard of a kitchen. So this okay. is how my kitchen looks like when we wake up in the morning and then before I go to bed. So wow. this is how it looks like. That's my standard. That's All my right. system in place. So everybody in the house knows that everybody, everything in the kitchen should be put inside their drawers or their respective places. Okay, so share with us some tips. Okay, so if you would notice, I have a very small kitchen. Okay. Because we don't need those big stove because we don't naman cook a lot. Right. So this kitchen, as much as possible, we want it functional. Okay. So in terms of functionality, one thing that you need to consider is making sure that everything here is accessible. Right. So of course, there are shelves right there. and. How are you going to make it accessible? I showed it earlier, the step stool. Ah, so you okay. have to make sure that you have something easy to drag as opposed to you pulling up, uh, pulling out a chair or getting a ladder. A ladder right? Sobrang tedious, ang hirap mm -hmm. niyang gawin. As opposed to having a step stool, you just have to step in and then open and okay. then you can easily access the top shelf, right? right? So walang neglect na space, right? Mm -hmm. Another one is my breakfast station. So, right. Oh my goodness, you label them one by one. Right. So this one is decanting. My rule in decanting is if you can measure it, then you can decant it. Decanting means you can you transfer it right. from one container to, to another. another. With this one, the reason why I decant cereals, like those pancake mix, yes. is because I don't want to deal with different kinds of containers. Mm -hmm. Kasi ang hirap if ibat iba yung shapes and sizes niya, that you cannot maximize the space. And also, since what I'm at home, I don't have to use na my label maker. And this one is, uh, this is the pen that I'm actually using. Okay. This is a chalk marker, so chalk it's marker. erasable. It's washable, so you just have to wash it with cloth. Okay. And then it gets erased, and then you can change the label. Right. Diba? I noticed you have, are these expiration dates? Right. One thing, if you decant, then make sure that you write the expiration. If you don't want it here, you can put it under if you're using a label maker. And then I have these mga parang fillers lang, okay. just so we can maximize also the space. So minsan, since it's stackable, I just remove this during breakfast and then put it there. Easier to reach and then right. and transfer to the table. Right? Galing, galing. Okay, I'm so amazed. Okay. okay, moving on to the next, okay, our pantry. Is, okay, the pantry. Okay. Well, I love the system that you have here. Hi. Okay. It's, it yeah. really comes forward to right. easy to reach the items so of the If you pack. notice, the sinful ones are there okay. up there. It's more difficult to do Sometimes, if I have the luxury to do it, because it's just a little bit, I sort it also like by expiration. So first yeah. in, first out. Uh -oh. I want to make sure that what we need here is what we need for okay. A week or two. So we move on to the fridge. It's a beautiful fridge. I noticed that the first time I entered your kitchen. Yeah, we got this from Landers. Oh, you did? This is the main, the main freezer. Okay, for, for the fridge, because I'm super particular about this because if there's one thing that I want talaga to be organized, it's food. Okay. Because sometimes it's not appealing not to eat leftovers mm -hmm. if you don't transfer it to, you know, to, or you to, don't to store them properly. Yeah, containers uh -oh. such as this. And what's nice about that is it improves efficiency also because you can just pop it in the microwave. Already. You don't have to transfer yes. it, right? I just want to make sure that everything can be easily located also. So that mm -hmm. hindi ka magte-take ng time na alam mo yan, ano nga bang kailangan ko, tinititigan mo pa siya, you're, uh -oh. diba, you're wasting energy. But this one, since you can, you know where to find it. What a beautiful kitchen. Okay, we don't stop here, right? right. Okay, where else are you gonna take us in your house? I'll show you to the playroom. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay. 
this is really organized down to the labels, down to how it's fixed. Wow. Right. It's color-coded Lego blocks. My goodness. Talagang that's really taking it to another level, which is amazing. My son kasi collects Lego. As in, oh. I, I'm hoping na parang if gusto niya, niya ulit buuin yon, it'll be easier for him to identify which pieces that he needs. Because I cannot put it back na based on the set. This is really amazing. I mean, if you're able to sustain it. Are the kids trained and old enough to understand that, okay, red Lego block pieces go to this box? Or, syempre, sometimes hindi mo na siguro makontrol, di ba? Right. Of course, especially when there's play dates. Right. Right? That's, that's where we hit the balance. Okay. You know, that there are really days that, you know, let them be kids. Right. But if you're going to encourage them even half or one-fourth of what you are asking for or what you envision them to uh -oh. do, kahit papano, you get to train them as early on. Now, this is actually me encouraging my kids that it's fun to be neat. You know, it'll be easier for them to locate their toys if you're going to segregate it. So, that's, that's me encouraging the kids. Thank you so, so much for all the tips in the playroom. Okay, are you taking us to another part of your house to share more of your yes. tips? Okay, okay so where are we off to next? To the walk-in closet. With the closet, okay, because this, for me, it's one of the trickiest to organize. So what systems really do you recommend to follow in a wardrobe closet such as this? Well, if you notice, I'm... I don't know if this is minimalist, but I only keep a few clothes. But for me, like coming up with a system in the closet, again, it will all boils down to what's your preference. Like for okay. me, I'm very particular with color, as you notice. Mm -hmm. So for me, it doesn't matter if it's long sleeves or short sleeves, as long as all the colors go together. Ah, okay. So like okay. this one, um, if I'm going to arrange this, then I will start with all long sleeves and then short sleeves sleeveless, but all mm -hmm. whites are together. So the other system that you can put also is um, you can follow a pattern. So if you're going to arrange it by color, follow the rainbow pattern. So mm -hmm. that's easier as opposed to all dark, all light. Mm -hmm. It could be also. Okay. And then you can also arrange it if you are very particular with brands, you can also arrange it alphabetically. Wow. If a system that works for you is arranging it alphabetically, then it's easier to follow. Again, Correct. kanya kanya, kanya, yan. kanya yang, right. you know, what, what works best. Just to point out, these hangers, I always mention this in my page because this velvet hangers, it doesn't leave the, the shoulder the marks. marks. And then you see, even if it's all cramped up, it fits. Here so this one is my dresser. As you notice, I only keep what I need because I really can't stay in the dresser for long before I don't have a beauty regimen. Okay. Thing is, I have to do now because hashtag age. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. But I only keep a few. I make sure that, you know, what everything that is here is just what I need. Okay. And what you really use on the day. Right. If, if it's not Heyang, then I give it away. Yeah. I noticed even your towels are put and stored in bins that I saw in your kitchen. Right. Like this one in particular. Yes. That's really meant for the kitchen. I saw that in Landers one time. Right. But you're resourceful enough to use it for something yeah, else. Yeah, because it's in a very, uh, you know, it's located in a very high place. So it's, mm -hmm. it comes in handy with these handles. Yes. You just pull it and then you can get whatever Kaling. you need. This one is actually a system that really works for me when it mm -hmm. comes to storing or filing your bed sheets. This comes in set. Okay. So everything that I need, the fitted sheets, the, the flat the sheets, flat sheets pillow the pillowcases, pillow it's, it's there. And I noticed the way you fold your clothes or your pieces of clothing are kind of different here and here. Why is right. that? Because this one, these are my pants. These are my shirts. Mm -hmm. So for the pants, I make sure that I see the this one, the seams, right. so that I know the make. Like I say, okay. if you see the bottom of the pants and also the waist, you know now what kind of pants. Yes. Uh -oh. So that's that's how I want you to see You have a mental pants. note already. Ah. Right. This one kasi, this kasi opens like that. Hindi siya drawer type. Okay. So I think this one works. If ganito yung itsura ng storage mo. Kasi if it's going to be yung drawer type, it's easier talaga to come okay. up with how to file fold. Is 
thank you so much again for letting us into your beautiful home. Thank you for all the tips you imparted with with me and for all our viewers. I hope you were able to get a thing or two. Most You're definitely. You're, You're also... such an inspiration. So in case people would like to avail of your services, how can they reach you? They can add me on Instagram. It's at Neat Obsessions. Or you can go to my website. It's www.neatobsessions.com. Awesome. Okay, so this is Miss Issa Reyes of Neat Obsessions. And I am Nadine Henson Cuevas of Landers Mommy TV, Expert Moms. Until the next episode, mommies, I will see you super soon. Bye!